September is Chicken Month, and today we're going to whip up a great recipe with, of course, chicken as the hero. Gina Sunderland with us today to share a great recipe with us. So why don't you tell us what we're making today? We are going to make our delicious chicken gnocchi soup. So a wonderful way to celebrate our local Manitoba chicken farmers for all that they do to ensure that we always have access to local chicken 12 months of the year. And like you said, this also incorporates those beautiful fall veggies that we're enjoying right now. I love that. Not yeah. just the chicken farmers. Yeah, dig into your own garden. You are maybe mm -hmm. a farmer. Get those veggies out and we're going to make up the stock first, right? This we can be are. tricky or no? Yeah, not tricky. A lot of people ask me how to make chicken stock and it is so simple. It's so delicious. And of course, it's nutritious for us. So Terry, it comes together so easily. I like to use chicken legs and thighs. There's a lot of bone there. You get a nice gelled beautiful stock if you roast them first you get more flavor more colorful broth that goes into a stock pot along with your classic veggies your onions your celery your carrots some fresh herbs if you have them on hand like rosemary thyme parsley a few bay leaves and a few peppercorns put that all in your pot fill it up with water you know six to eight cups of water bring it to a boil let it simmer once it comes to a boil you simmer three to four hours let that soup cool for a bit strain everything out Put it in your fridge overnight and it's going to gel and the fat will come up to the top if there is any. Remove that fat and then away you go. You've got beautiful, delicious stock to make okay. all kinds of incredible recipes like our chicken gnocchi soup. I love that. That does actually sound a lot easier than I thought. Uh, with the stock, we're obviously right. going to make the soup. Can we? we how long will this last for? Well, it'll last in the fridge for about three days, but I love to freeze stock. Brilliant. And you can freeze it for three months. Again, just put it in measured portions, like we say, one cup, two cups. Use it for things like our soups, our stews, sauces. Okay. okay. How do we make the soup? So we have got our classic trio of vegetables when you make soup. Your onion, your celery, and your carrot. A couple stalks of celery, a couple carrots, and a large onion. We let that saute. And then, Terry, it's so easy. We're going to add our stock to that soup. So it's about four cups of stock. We're gonna add a little bit of garlic because you know we love our yes, garlic. We do. And then we've got our seasoning. So just half a teaspoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of thyme. And then we're gonna add our beautiful cube chicken. chicken. Cube chicken. So we've got two cube chicken breasts. That's gonna go in there. And along with a real great time saver, I our love. gnocchi. I love gnocchi. Me too. You can do so many things with it. And this gnocchi soup is just simply delicious and hearty. Mm -hmm. So you bring this to a boil, simmer for 10 minutes. And at the very end, then you're gonna add a cup of baby spinach and a cup of cream and you have a delicious hearty soup that everyone is going to love. So a perfect on the menu, back to school option for those busy moms. It looks delicious, I can't wait to try it. Thank you, Gina. Thanks, Terry. Brought to you by Manitoba Chicken. Discover delicious and nutritious recipes at manitobachicken.ca.